AAD stands for Action on Alzheimer's and Dementia and the charity was started in 2012. It was kind of my idea because my mother had Alzheimer's disease and I realized when she got diagnosed that there was really not a lot of support in the community for people with dementia. You know, sort of aftercare and education around the subject of dementia. We have a couple of key areas of focus. The first one is we have an occupational therapist who works solely for the charity and she visits families and people with dementia, primarily those who are living at home. The other area that we focus on is an activities program. One of the big issues with people with dementia and their caregivers is that it's a very isolating disease. A lot of people are at home a lot of the time just with their caregiver and they don't really get any social stimulation so the activities program was started. So we have things like art, music, uh, movement which is very important to keep people physically active. We've helped probably over 300 people in Bermuda and it's, it's been really successful. The benefit of art therapy is that it really, is, I think it's more of a time for them to meditate and be creative. This is a chance for them to actually develop a skill or develop an interest or a hobby. And it really gives them encouragement, makes them feel good about themselves. I think they find a new sense of purpose. You know, a lot of times as we get older, you know, especially being in the homes, they feel like, you know, life has ended. But this gives them a sense of something to, that they can actually contribute to, um, or they're actually creating for other people to see. I never thought my husband was ever going to hear it, you know. He was diagnosed about seven years ago. Well, his aunt had Alzheimer's years back, and then his sister died of Alzheimer's. But it's been seven years now, and actually he's really doing well. I, I think it's wonderful, really, that he's coming to the club and doing these things. Make me happy when times are great. Right on. We'll never know fear. Yeah. How much I love you. Woo! Baby, don't take my sunshine away. Hey. Hey. I'm so grateful, really, that we have this club. And I know that everybody that comes really enjoys it. As you can see, we really do enjoy the club. The AAD is a charity very close to the hearts of many employees and we felt that not only to uh, give financially but also to give time, effort and appreciation back to the caregivers who do a tremendous job for AAD sufferers. The number of people with Alzheimer's in Bermuda is surprisingly huge. It's close to the number of people that suffer from cancer but we don't hear about the Alzheimer's patients as much as the cancer patients. So we decided this was a great program and implementing this grant, it's been two years in the going so far and we've seen how the activities programs have expanded and it's just been amazing to watch what AAD are doing in the community. The volunteer program gives staff an opportunity to volunteer their time and that's a door that opens that wasn't there before in my view. Most importantly it's the personal relationships I've developed with those impacted by Alzheimer's and other dementia. That includes the individuals inflicted by the disease but also their caregivers. Getting to know them on a first name basis, exchanging hugs and kisses when we meet and a dance or two at times is truly heartwarming for me. I believe in helping others and giving back to my community. I respect our seniors so much. They work so hard to pave a way for us, for us to have a better life. And this is by token to them. Sometimes with um, someone that will come, they're very shy, and they'll just sit there and tap their fingers or their toes, and a couple of weeks later or a couple of months later, we have them up dancing, so um, we, we feel that it really helps a lot. They, they tell us so, you know. The Zurich funding has, it has been, you know, amazing, and it's just allowed us to expand what we do in the community, and I think we've seen that we get fantastic positive feedback from everybody who's involved and we hope that we, we're modeling you know for the future within the homes and that, that the staff there will be 
I guess, enlightened in, in what, what is possible with people who are there.